Hey class, good morning. So our math lesson today will be on points, sprays, and much more. Alright, we're going to be using this smart board which we are currently on and you guys will be able to interact with it. So the mathematics standard that we're going to hopefully master run in this course is that we're going to be drawing learning how to draw actually and identify points, lines, line segments, rays, angles, perpendicular, and parallel lines in two-dimensional figures. Wow, <laughs> that was a mouthful, right? Well, we're going to do step by step. Don't worry, we got this. So the two-dimensional figures, yes, these look familiar in our previous lesson. So the circle and what is this class? The square? Awesome. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be using these shapes um, so we can learn our fundamental building blocks of geometry. <laughs> so the first step, we're going to use the circle. So this little mini point was not a mistake. It's actually called the vertex. The center of the circle is called what class? Yep, the vertex. All right, let's review a little bit. So we're going to learn about points, lines line segments and rays. So I've actually done a little bit here. <laughs> so um, the point, it can be small, it can be little. So if you use your pencil and you make a dot on your paper, like so, yeah. So it can be super tiny or it can be super big, kind of like the smiley face here. Those are called points. And you can draw them anywhere in the circle or on the border of the circle, which is called the circumference. Good job guys. You guys remember this so well. Alright, so the line is basically a line or yeah, a line. <laughs> it can be thick or it can be thin. And make sure it's very, very important that it has arrows on both sides. Okay? So if you notice that the name of the the term matches with the image. So a line matches with the green line <laughs> and the line segment which is pink it matches with this one so notice how the line and the line segment are different the line has arrows on both ends of the line and the line segment it has dots the dots represent that there's a break kind of like the word segment it stops and it starts somewhere so there we go and usually you will find this on, it will start at one end of the circle and it will stop at the other end of the circle. It could be anywhere, it could be big, it could be small. Alright, and the last one is that it's a ray. So, just like with that bird's text I told you guys you might need to know or remember, it will start at the center of the circle with, because you remember, start, so you said dot. And it will go all the way out to the circumference of the circle using an arrow because it's going somewhere, right? Alright, so I want you guys to identify. So as a class, or actually, I'm going to choose you guys one by one. And I want you guys to each tell me what it is on the board. So Jody, can you come up to the board, please? Hi, Jody. Can you please tell us a class what you think this image represents? A line? Yeah. Why do you think it's a line, Jody? That's right, because it has arrows at the end of each point. Good job, Jody. All right, next up, Daniel. Can you please come to the board? Hey, Daniel. So, what is this, Daniel? A ray? Why is it a ray, Daniel? Mm hmm It starts at the center, or what, what is it called, class? Yep, the vertex. <laughs> it starts at the center, and it goes all the way out to the end of the circumference. Good job, Daniel. Catherine, good volunteer. There we go. Yeah, you guys can volunteer, and I'll just choose you. Good job. All right, so Catherine, can you tell me what this image represents to the class? A line? Well, it's closed. It's actually a line segment. Do you know why? Yes. Yes. Good job, Catherine. Sometimes we need to think about it twice so we can get the correct answer. So, a line segment, you'll start somewhere and you'll end somewhere. Usually at 
the circumference of the circle. Thank you, Catherine. All right, next up, Spencer. Hey, Spencer, can you tell me what these are? Dots? Well, let's be a little bit more specific. Points. Thank you, Spencer. <laughs> All right, guys. So I want you guys to practice drawing these. All right. So I'm going to call you guys one by one again, and you're going to draw on the board for us. All right. So first up, can I get Gary to come to the board? Hi, Gary. Can you draw a point in this circle for me? Oh, Gary's using the creative pen. Good job. That's actually pretty cool. Yes, Gary. Good job. All right. Layla, can you please come to the board, please? Yeah, can you draw a line for us? Mm-hmm. Looks good so far. Oh, she's actually choosing your color, too. You guys are so creative. <laughs> good job, Layla. Yes, so don't forget the line has arrows on both ends of the of the line. <laughs> Alright, uh, for the line segment, Alexander, can you please come to the board, please? Hey, Alexander, are you sure that a line segment have arrows at the end of each? That's right, because they pause. So good job. Yep, those dots represent that is a line segment. All right, and last but not least, can I get Jackie? Jackie, can you come to the board, please? Yeah, you can use the same color. Alright, it's close, but make sure that that ray has an arrow pointing outward. Yeah, because this ray, it means that it starts somewhere and it goes on to somewhere. Thank you, Jackie. Alright, so next up, we're going to learn about other types of angles and lines using the square. So the types of angles, there's an acute angle, a right angle, an obtuse angle. So a right angle, I'm going to draw it for you guys on the board here. So a right angle, if you see this square right here, that means it is a perfect 90 degree angle. So you'll just draw upward, make sure to point your arrows, and draw it this way, make sure to point your arrows, and that will be a right angle because it's 90 degrees exactly. Alright, next one up is an acute angle, so that means it's less than 90 degrees, so we're going to go inside that square. Um, I wouldn't recommend using the stars, but that was the first one I chose. And let's make sure it's an actual arrow. There we go. And last but not least, let's use the actual highlighter. <laughs> the obtuse angle. So an obtuse angle means that it's more than 90 degrees. So we're actually to come outside the square or the box. Alright, now it's your turn. You guys are going to be practicing on how to identify these types of angles. Alright, so can I get, oh, we already got volunteers. You guys are so awesome. Can I get Madison to come to the board, please? Hey, Madison, can you tell me what number one is? A right angle? Awesome. Perfect right angle. Well, almost perfect by my arrows. <laughs> and number two, Ethan. Yeah, Ethan, can you come to the board, please? Can you tell me what number two is? An acute angle, mm -hmm. because it's less than 90 degrees. And number three, can I get Lucas? Yes, an obtuse angle, because it's more than 90 degrees. All right, let's practice drawing. I know that that's your, um, that's your favorite part, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to practice drawing some angles. So let's see, Spencer, can you please come to the board and draw an acute angle? Alright. 
Oh, I didn't realize how big the arrows were. I mean, how big the line were, but yeah. <laughs> Good job, Spencer. Yeah, it's less than 90 degrees. All right. Let's see. Charlotte, can you come to the board and draw a right angle? Good job, Charlotte. All right, last but not least, an obtuse angle. Can Jordan come to the board? Wow, yes, that is definitely an obtuse angle. Really big, too. <laughs> All right, you guys are doing really good. All right, and last but not least, let's learn about the types of lines. So there are perpendicular and there are parallel lines. So for perpendicular, these are lines that intersect and they form four right angles. So they'll intersect perfectly, okay? Basically. So let's go back to lines. Make sure we got a starting and end point. Well, it goes on forever, so not really. Go from the center and the center. All right. And then parallel lines, they're actually never intersect or never cross over. They would keep going on and on forever. So as long as they look like this, on and on forever, they're good. All right, let's practice identifying these types. All right, I want two people to come up, Jackie and Madison. All right, Jackie, can you tell me what type of line this is? Parallel lines? Good job. And Madison, can you tell me what kind of line this is? Almost a perpendicular line? Yeah, that's right. I had this line kind of crooked. <laughs> All right. And let's practice drawing, guys. So for this one, I want two people to volunteer to come up. Lucas and Catherine. All right. <laughs> Lucas and Catherine. All right. Who wants to go first? Catherine, all right, Catherine, can you draw perpendicular lines for me? And why those perpendicular lines, Catherine? That's right, they form four right angles. And don't forget, they all, it's also because they intersect. Awesome. And then, let's see, and then... Can you, can Lucas tell me, can you draw parallel lines on the board? Um, okay. Good job, Lucas. So, yeah, those lines will never intersect. So, as long as they're laying side by side, but they never cross over, those are parallel lines. All right, guys, so I want you guys to get into your group. And I have a little worksheet with some um little toys. Well, it's not really toys. It's more like um like blocks. <laughs> and I want you guys to figure out some creative ways to make these into what we just learned. All right. Thank you. And as soon as we're done, I'm going to look over them, and we'll move on to our reading lesson. Thank you, guys. <laughs>